Now we're gonna start with the warm up. We're gonna start from a real lunge. Slowly twist your torso towards your front knee. And then we lift your arms up. And then from here, see if you can go a bit lower, stretch your hip flexor, and then up. And then change side. Twist your torso, arms up, and then see if you can go a bit lower. Excellent. Do so again. Push your torso towards your front knee, arms up, and then stretch your hip. Last one. Perfect. Next one, I'm gonna go into the squat. Small squat, start mobilizing your ankles, pushing your knees forward, one at a time, keep your heels on the floor. Highway. Then we try to go a bit lower on the squat, pushing one knee out, twist your torso up. Perfect. And then we go again. Chain side, squat, push the knee out, one shoulder pointing up to the ceiling and one pointing down to the floor. Try to go a bit lower on the next two. Lower if you can. Perfect. Next one, we go on the mat, lying on one side. Perfect. Lying on one side of your body on the mat. Then we'll bring one knee up, back of your hand on the floor. And then we slide your hand along the floor and turn your head back. Both shoulders touching the ground. And then back. And we repeat again. Turn your head back and then bring your hands back. Perfect. Next one, same on the opposite side. We can change side. Lying on one side, bring the knee up 90 degrees on your hip. Back of your hand on the floor and then slide the along the ground. And back. Again, back of your hand on the floor, slide it. Try to touch the floor with both shoulders as you look back. Last one. Perfect. Next one. Lying on your back. You can get the foam roller if you have one between your knees. And from here, we drop your knees to one side all together. Turn the head to the opposite side, knees to one side. Then knees up and then down to the opposite side, maintaining 90 degrees on your hips. Excellent. From here, we're going to go into the glute bridges. Shoulders on the floor, on your heels, open your hips, squeeze your glutes, hold you at the top and then slowly down and then up again. Good. Perfect. Next one. We're gonna go in the quadruped position. We're gonna do the cat stretch. Now push your back away from the wall. Arm full extended. And then belly bottom down all the way down to the floor and push yourself away from the floor again. And from here, we're gonna go straight into a plank position. Bring one leg up and stretch your hip flexor. Try to get your hip to close it as possible to the floor. And then go and reach the floor with your forearm and then twist your torso up. Perfect. 
then back to the plank. Same on the opposite side. Bring the opposite leg up, side your hand. Then try and reach the floor with this hip. Stretch in the hip flexor. Then reach the floor with the forearm and twist your torso out. Same on the opposite side. Change side. Perfect. I think we're ready to start. How are we feeling? Good. Great. Perfect. We're going to start from the side lunges. So you can grab your dumbbells. And from here, we're going to go to the side lunge. And then again, straight standing upright. And then long step out. Let me show you sideways. And then we go out like this. We're going to do one minute on each leg. Ready to go. And we go. Long step out, down, and stand upright. Excellent. Good. Perfect. Good. Keep your torso upright as you go down. Um, well, which side should I have to have you do it? The weight? You actually the have your one. On the outside, on the outside. On the outside. Perfect. So you have the heavy out and the light inside. 30 seconds. Perfect. Good. Good. And seconds. Perfect. Last one. And we change side. <laughs> Same on the opposite leg. And we go down. And up. Perfect. Keep your spine upright. Let me show you sideways. So you keep your torso upright. So do not curve your spine. Perfect. Good. Three seconds. Good. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Last one, perfect. From here, straight to the single arm row on the quadruped position, extending one leg out, and then the dumbbell, bring it up to your hip. Keeping your head down, and then slowly on the way down, and then we pull it up without twisting your torso. And let's go. <coughs> slowly down. This one, Vicky, you can do with the seven kilo. Good. Perfect. It's looking good. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Change side. And let's go again. No break in between. Let me love, let me love again. Let go and let me love, let 
Good. R bring the decatable to your hip. Sonia, not to your ribs, but to your hip. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Perfect. Next one, we go to the big crunch, uh, big sit up. So sitting on the mat, only with touching the mat with your glutes, both legs and torso out. We're gonna crunch, stand your legs out, lean back, and then crunch again. Only the glutes touching the mat. Then flex out and crunch. Breathe in, breathe out as you crunch. Perfect. Lean back, extending your legs out and crunch. Slowly on the way back, slowly crunch fast and then extend your legs slowly and crunch. Thirty seconds. Legs out, crunch. Fifteen seconds. It's looking good. Slowly on the way down. Five seconds. Last one. Perfect. That's why we go into the single arm press. So you can use a sofa or you can use a bench or you can use the floor. So only the shoulders on a bench. If you have a, if you have the bench, you can just place your shoulders on the on the step. And then with one dumbbell, we push the dumbbell up and then slowly down. So only the shoulders on the bench, then slowly down. Well, right, let's wait for everyone to be ready. Ready with the time, and we go. Let's go. So you press slowly on the way down. Fast on the way up, slowly on the way down. want to keep your hips fully open on this one. want to keep the tension on the glute as well and hamstring. Thirty seconds. Do not tense your neck. Fifteen seconds. Good. Last five seconds. Breathe out as you push. Last one. Perfect. And switch side with the dumbbell on your chest. Not above your head. Change side. Going to the next one. Keep your hips fully open and let's go. Slowly down. Good. Keep those hips fully open. Maintain the tension on the glutes. Thirty seconds. It's looking good. Keep the hips open. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Last five seconds. Exhale as you push the dumbbell out. And 
On the way down, and break. One minute. <laughs> Perfect. How are we feeling? One minute. 15 seconds. Done. Water. How are we doing? Doing well. Good. Perfect. It's too easy. Let me know and I can adjust the workout towards the end. Perfect. We're going to start again from the side lunge. 15 seconds to go. You can grab the dumbbells already. <clears throat> Perfect. Which hand is the heavy one, Samuel? The heavy one, out. The lighter one, inside the leg. Okay. Lighter one, between the legs. After we're doing a steam exercise. Okay. So, side lunge exercise, ready to go. And let's go. Go strand the up. Slowly down. So when you take a step, land softly on your leg and then down. And then fast on the way up. Good. Soft on the leg. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds before we. Excellent. No need to go and reach the floor with the dumbbells. Do not arch your back, keep it torso upright on the way down. You want to flex your hip, not reaching the floor with the dumbbells. So keep it torso upright. You want to flex your hip to go down. You want to take your glutes down. Good. 15 seconds to go. Drop your hips. Five seconds. Perfect. Single arm row. No break in between. And we pull the dumbbell up to your hip. And let's go. Up your hip, slowly down. seconds so fast on the way up slow on the way down without tilting your shoulders nor your hips five seconds last one change side and let's go good
30 seconds. Keep breathing. Five seconds. Last one. Perfect. Turn to the beast sit up. Again, sitting with only with the glutes on the floor, extending your legs out of on the off the floor, and then crunch up again. Slowly on the way down. And breathe out as you crunch. Slowly down. Be slower. Try to control your and your core and then crunch. Looking good. Looking good. Fifteen seconds. Legs off the floor. Last one. Perfect. Straight to the single arm press of the bench. Bring your hips fully open, flat. Both shoulders on the bench. Ready in position. All right, ready to go. And we go fast on the way up, slow on the way down. Breathe out as you push. Breathe in as you lower it. Fifteen seconds. Keep your hips open. Should be feeling on the glute now and the hamstring. Keep pressing up. Five seconds. Last one. Perfect. Chain side. Switch side. And straight to the next one. No break in between. Looking good. 30 seconds to go. It's looking good. Slowly down. Push fast. 15 seconds. If you have hips fully open, yes. Last one. Perfect. One minute on the clock. Sip of water and then we change. Next one. While you rest, the next ones, we're going to go into the sprinter lunges. Sprinter lunges. Touch the floor. Up fast. Touch the floor. Up fast. One minute on each leg. Next one, we're going to go into the lap pull down. Lying on the floor, you can hold the towel or resistance band, and we go for the lap pull down, squeezing your shoulder blade. Then we go for the alternating leg raises. Again, only sitting on your glutes. We're gonna do one leg up, one leg down, one leg up, one leg down, and then we finish with the dumbbell fly. So we want dumbbell from here up, slowly down. Absolutely done.
Actually, let's, let's do it with both dumbbells. Perfect. Five seconds to go. Are we good? Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with the sprinter lunges. One minute on each leg. Perfect, and let's go. Down with one leg. Perfect. Pass on the way up and try to control when you top head fully open. Control it. Full extension on the glute. Perfect. Good. Excellent. Looking good. Try to control it at the top. Perfect. 20 seconds. Five seconds. Last one. Change leg. And we're going to the next one. Straight to the next one. Good. Perfect. Try to hold you at the top half a second. It's looking good. Perfect. Ten seconds. Last on the way up. Five seconds. Perfect. Let's go for the lap pull down. Lie on your front on the mat. You can do with the resistance with the towel. So hold on with both hands onto a towel if you have a towel or a resistance band. And we're going to the lap pull down. Keeping your head down, arms off the floor. So forearms parallel to the floor. Extend the arms off the floor without touching the floor with your arms. Bring them down and then up. Perfect. Are your feet are on the floor, someone? Yeah, feet on the floor. We just end up on the back. Just the upper body. Feet on the floor. We don't want to arch your lower back too much. And keep your head down, your chin down. Looking good. Perfect. Squeeze your shoulder blades as you bring your hands down. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Extend your arms. Fifteen seconds. Keep your head down. Arms off the floor. Excellent. Last one. Perfect. And let's go again straight to the dumbbell fly. Fly on your back. So dumbbells right above you, above your shoulders. And then we drop your arms to the side. Touch the floor with your elbow. And then lift the dumbbell up. If you only have one light dumbbell, just use one side at a time. You, you can do one side at a time. Good. All right, I'll tell you when we got 30 seconds so you can switch arm. Touch the floor with your elbow. 
drop your arm to the side, touch the floor, and then up again. If you have two, two even dumbbells, carry on with both dumbbells. Right, 30 seconds, let's change side. For those of you that have only one dumbbell, and then change side. Looking good. Perfect. 10 seconds. Elbows touch the floor and then bring your arms right above your shoulder. Last five seconds. Last one. Perfect. Then dumbbell down on the floor and we go straight to the alternating leg raises. So glutes on the floor. Rest of the body stays off the ground. Both legs straight off the ground. And then we go and reach one up and then lower it. One up and lower it. If this is too intense, we can just bring one knee up and down like this. But let's carry on. If you can, let's carry on with the legs straight up. Only once you get too intense, you can go into the knee raises. Looking good. Perfect. Slowly down with the leg. No rush. Slowly and show me that you can control it down. Perfect. Carry on. Perfect. If you get too intense, you can go onto your knees. 15 seconds. Five seconds. And break. Whew. Perfect. One minute on the clock. And then we repeat. How are we doing? Good. You good, Ashley? I'm good, thank you. Perfect. All right. 30 seconds and then we go again. Start sprinter lunges. Any questions regarding the exercises? No. Excellent. 15 seconds and uh, brain position. Sprint the lunge again. Ready? <laughs> and let's go. Time is up. One. Control you at the top. Carry on. Twenty seconds. Bring the knee high if you can. Bring the knee high. Five seconds. Perfect. Change leg. Good. Be fast on the way up. Only one, only one motion. Straight up. Nice. Perfect. Good. It's looking good. 
Perfect. Ten seconds. Five. Last one. Perfect. Lap pull down. Lying on your front. Head down. Arms and shoulders off the ground. Ready to go? Lying on your front. And we go. And arms up. Always off the ground. Don't let your shoulders touch the floor for the whole set. Thirty seconds. Keep your head down. Good. Don't let the bar touch the floor. Looking good. Five seconds. Try to the dumbbell fly. Lying on your back. Perfect. If you only have one dumbbell, let's do 30 seconds on each side. For those of you who have had two dumbbells, let's do one minute all together. Let's go. Dumbbell up and then elbows down to the floor. Down to your side and then up. Down to the side, touch the floor with the elbow, good, perfect, that should be 30 seconds, and change side, Looking good. Ten seconds. Five. Slowly down. Last one. Perfect. Place the dumbbell on the floor and we go into the alternating leg raises. So only the glutes on the floor. So only your glutes on the floor, both legs extended out of the, off, off the ground, and then we raise one, and we lower it slowly. Raise it one, and then lower it slowly. It's looking good. Excellent. Try not, try not to kick up, so it's not a kick and then lower it fast. It's a, you want to lift your leg, and you want to lower your leg. Perfect. Lift it, lower it. Nice. Good, Sonia. So good. Looking good. If you get too intense, you can take knee up and then knee out. You got 20 seconds to go. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds, come on. And break. Ooh la la. One minute on the clock. Perfect. Really good set. How are we feeling? Good. Yeah. Now, ne next giant set will be the stiff leg deadlift. So you can use both dumbbells. 
legs full extended, and then you lower, drop your hips back, and keeping your legs stiff, you're gonna drop the dumbbells down to your side, and then open your hips again. Stiff leg deadlift, first exercise. Second one is the weighted crunch, then overhead squat, and then the mountain clamber. All right, time is up. Let's start with a start with a stiff leg deadlift. If you can if you can stand sideways, I will be able to correct you on this one. All right, let's go. <laughs> So ready, standing upright, dumbbells in front of your hips, and then down to your, in front of your legs, stretch your hamstring, and then up, perfect, slowly on the way down, do not curve your back, do not curve your back, keep your, keep your back straight, so just get past your knee, so do not drop your shoulders lower than your hips, keep your spine straight, and then up, looking good. 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 Just going a bit, a bit too low, Vicky. Don't go that low. Just that and up. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Slowly on the way down and then up fast. 20 seconds. Last five. Good. Perfect. Next one, we go for the weighted crunches, lying on your back. Place it on your back. Legs up, lower back flat on the floor, dumbbell on your chin. And then we're gonna go and crunch. Exhale, slowly down, and then up. Getting your shoulders off the floor. Holding the dumbbell on your chest. Ready with the time? And let's go. Do not tense your neck. Exhale on the way up. Good. Try to hold your at top, Sonia. And you crunch. When you crunch, hold it at the top one second and then slowly down. Excellent. Hold it one second at the top and down. 30 seconds. You shouldn't be feeling on your neck on this one. Relax your neck. 15 seconds. Looking good. Hold it at the top, slowly down. Five seconds. Perfect. Straight to the overhead squat. If you have a towel, use a towel. If you have a bar, use a bar. Or if you have a resistance band, use a resistance band. Arms up. And then we're gonna go into the squat with your arms up. Go from here. And let's go. Good. Earth, if you stand sideways, I can correct you better. Yeah, that's better. Then down, keep your arms up. Excellent. Good. Good, Ashley. Perfect. Nice, Sonia. Jam going extremely low as usual. <laughs> really good squat. Perfect. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. 
five seconds. Should I feel tension on your neck on this one? Neck relax. Perfect. And we finish with the mountain climber. So on this one, on a plank position. On this one, we're gonna bring your knee up to your chest and down without touching the floor with your, with your foot. Bring your knee up and down. Right in position. And bring your knee up and down. And let's go. And back. When I keep your hips shoulder level, do not bring your hips higher than your shoulders. Bring your hips shoulder level. It's looking good. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. And break. Perfect. One minute on the clock. Good, so stiff like that, lift, weighted crunch, overhead squat, and mounting. One minute. Very quiet. Um, me and Ashley always crawl to our water after you work out. <laughs> As I mean, Ashley always um, crawl to our water after the set. The crawling <laughs> <laughs> It's a really good set. 15 seconds and then we go again, starting from the stiff leg deadlift. On this one, keep your, your, your spine straight. Do not arch your back. Do not curve it. Do not drop your shoulders. You want to keep your hip and shoulders in line. And then up again. All right, ready? Time is up. Grab the dumbbells. And we're ready to go. Down slowly. Hip and shoulders in line. And up. So much better. Good. Now try to do the same without flexing your knees too much. Because this one is a stiff leg deadlift. So with the legs slightly more, we'll extend it without bending your knees too much. So better. Good, Ashley. Perfect. Nice. Slowly down to feel the stretch. And then, Squeeze the hamstring and glute and get up. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Excellent. Next one, weighted crunch. Lying on the floor, dumbbell on your chest. Maintaining your lower back on the floor on this one. So do not get your lower back off the ground. <sighs> Exhale, crack. Next, relax. And then slowly down. <sighs> Perfect. Slowly down. Crunch. <sighs> slowly down. Good. Nice. <sighs> slowly down. If you want to make the exercise more challenging, you can extend your legs, but 45 degree angle of the floor. If you want to make it more challenging, 45 degree angle of the floor, the legs. And seconds.
Slowly on the way down. Last one. Excellent. Overhead squat. Ready to go. And we go. Slowly down. And then up. Excellent. Good. Everyone doing good. Fifteen seconds. Fast off the floor. Slowly down and then fast off the ground. Five seconds. Excellent. Straight to the first climber on the floor. On a plank. Running position. And let's go with the time. Bring your knee up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Exhale when you bring the knee up and breathe in when you lower it. Exhale when you bring the knee up. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Last two. And break. Whew. One minute. Perfect. Now, next one, we have the bird dog on the floor. Side crunches. And then the B crunches as well. Finish with the... Core, core, three set, the crunch. So quickly, show you the, the side crunch, lying on one side, touching the floor with one hip and one shoulder. We crunch, keeping this leg full off the floor. Side crunch, lying on one side. The, the V crunch, you can use a weight, and down, V crunch. And the bird dog. So from here, we're gonna go, up with a light dumbbell in your hand, then bring it in, up. All right, five seconds. All right, we start from the dog. And grab a light dumbbell, if you have a light dumbbell. So we're gonna go one arm up, one leg up, the opposite leg up, and bring it in. Without moving your spine, keep your head down parallel to the floor, and back. Good, keep your head down. We're gonna go for 30 seconds on each side. Stay on the same side. Stay on the same side. 15 seconds and then we change side. Five seconds. Right. Change side. Now switch the dumbbell to the opposite side. And we go up. Bird dog. And down. One leg up. One arm up. 
both legs and arm pile to the floor and then bring it in. Good. Keep your back foot pointing down. Keep your back toe pointing towards the floor. Five seconds. Excellent. Straight to the big crunch, uh, side crunches. Lying on one side. Both legs off the ground. And from here we go and crunch. Touching only the hip and the elbow on the floor. Crunching on this side and then up. Lean back. And up. Good. This one is one minute on each side. Easy work. Extend, so you go for a full stretch position to a fully crunch position. Good, fully stretch. Looking good. All right, 30 seconds. You can go a bit faster if you want to. Exhale when you crunch. Breathe in when you stretch. Crunch. 15 seconds. Five seconds. And change side. And straight to the next one, no break. It's looking good. Excellent. A bit lower, a bit slower on the way down, Sonia. Fast on the way up, slowly on the way down. Fast, slowly. Come on, 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Nice. Good, five seconds. Last one. And we finish with the big crunch exercise. You can do it without the weight, so you can grab a, 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 a dumbbell, both legs off the floor, and then we crunch both shoulders and legs off the ground, and then down and up. Ready? And let's go. Slowly down, maintaining your lower back on the floor. Good, getting both shoulders off the ground. It's looking good. Slowly down. Looking good. Come on. 20 seconds. Looking good. Last five. Last one, 